Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube tutorial Coding for Dummies and in this tutorial we are going to learn about constants so uh, in the previous tutorial we have discussed what are variables and here we are going to discuss about constants so uh, what are constants are constants are just variables as we have discussed in the previous what are variables whose values does not change during the execution of the program so what happens is uh, suppose uh, uh, initially what was happening is we were declaring a particular variable in a is equals to 5 so this particular variables uh, is getting a space in the memory and this value is stored there and uh, and again uh, during the program only if we uh, reassign this value this particular variable is overriding the initial value which was 5 and overriding this with 10 so this is what happening with the variables but what our constants are Suppose if we initialize a particular variable with uh, a constant, its value, we can't reassign its value again. Once its value is given, its value will remain the same throughout the execution of the program. Okay. So these are constants. So how constants can be declared are constants can be declared mainly in three ways. Okay. Constant can be declared in three ways. One is this const keyword, other is this defined keyword, and other is this enum. Okay, so what happens is how we uh, write this with const keyword, with defined keyword, with num keyword. So we'll go with each of these and see how it is defined and how it is used. So first with the const keyword. So how this const keyword works is see, you define an uh, integer or a variable as int a is equals to five. So what you do just is you just put here a new word const. Okay, so when you put this const keyword just before this end, what the compiler will understand is this particular value of this variable a is 5 and it will not change during the execution of the program. Okay, and if at all you want, uh, like uh, if you try to change the value, like initially you have de uh, uh, defined it as 5 and then you have uh, want to, uh, like you are attempting to reassign its value to 10, then this will throw an error. Okay, so this is what const keyword is. So there are many types of constant integer, floating character, string, octal, hexadecimal. So integer, you know, floating, you know, I'll go with characters. So what are characters like? Uh, characters are like any of the alphabetical or numeric characters like A uh, or 1. And uh, these characters are defined inside single quotes. Okay. So just say A, B. What are the escape sequences? Escape sequences are just special characters which are used by us in our program. For example, if someone gives here to print this star, then star, star, then star, star, star. So how are you going to get, uh, do this? So at first, what you, do, you will do is, you will write print star. Okay. So after the compiler has printed the star, you have to come to the next line now. So how will the compiler know that this has to come to the next line? Because here you can't just uh, like uh, press your and uh, uh, enter button on the keyboard so this that will not work okay so what is to provide this functionality this uh, special characters are used so what you can do is you can write it as print star slash n which is for new line and then what it will do is when it will print the single star then the cursor will move to the next part here next line and whatever uh, that comes or whatever you want to print that will be printed in the next line so this is uh, what uh, special characters are used for so similarly uh, as here is slash n here it is slash t okay and remember this is it is like backward slash okay t so what t is it is for tab you have this tab key uh, tab uh, um, key now on your keyboard so it is for tab slash n is for new line and there are many more you can just google it okay so that's it with characters what are strings is strings are just multiple characters joined together okay so here it is b o b so b is a character o is a character b is a character so it is a string so how we define a string we define a string within double quotes okay string constants if we are defining we'll define it within double quotes like b o b where each of these is a character so uh, uh, multiple uh, characters together form a string okay what are octal constant is uh, 
see we have uh, this decimal as well as a binary system so in binary we have 0 and 1 in decimal we have 0 to 9 so similarly in octal we have 0 to 8 sorry 0 to 7 8 total 8 values and in hexadecimal we have 0 to 15 total 16 values so if uh, if you are defining an integer integer a is equals to 0 to 1 so if you are initializing your value with 0 it will tell the compiler that you are using octal value and uh, and again if you are using 0x to a so this 0x will signify that it is using hexadecimal value okay so this is what constants are okay now we'll move to the next slide define so what what is define is you uh, define is another way to uh, uh, like declare a constant so how do we do that uh, okay let me give you an example first then i'll go through these points suppose you have your program here you write your include statement here then you write int main and then this then return and all those things are here so what i'll do is i'll write just define here pi 3.14 okay and here here what i have done is i have given a variable area is equals to pi into uh, uh let us say some area number 2 into 2 so what will happen is see this is the way how we use it now let's go to the point so these are used by the compiler to transfer your code before compilation of the code so what will happen is suppose you have written this program okay now you have uh, hit the build button so what will do it will compile it so before compilation this this hash symbol is used for this purpose only this hash symbol you see now this you this is called as preprocessor directory preprocessor directive so what it does it before compilation just before compilation what it does it wherever you have used this pi value it replaces those pi value with 3.14 so before compile or before compile or just before compilation your program will now look like this like all the int main and all these things and this area will look like pi is replaced by 3.14 and 2 into 2 so now this code your code will be transformed like this and now this particular code will get compiled understood so before compilation only your pi value is set or this pi is value is replaced by the value which is uh, defined here and then it will be used okay so this is it the compiler replaces all the constant name before compiling the code and hence it is called as preprocessor directive okay and this is how we declare a hash defined okay uh, so this is for this part now we'll go to constants okay so okay I, i'll tell the difference between all this the define constant enums and when to use it once uh, let me complete this with enum so we have our next one that is enum so what are enums is enums is a user defined data type so as we have in float double all these things are there no? so these are predefined by the language but enums are user defined data types like the user you and me the programmer can define these data types and that consists of integral values and provides meaningful name to this value here the important point is that enums contain integral values not float not double not care integral value okay so how we define then enum so if we define it with the enum keyword then the name of the data type then not south east west so what we have done is we have this enum see enum keyword we have used to say the compiler that we are going to define our own data type and then we give the name to the data type which will be direction and then we give the values to this uh data type okay so what happens is let me clear these things 
Hmm. See, so what happens is this north, south, east, west. So you are saying like here we are told that an integral value will be used, and here we are saying north, south, east, west. So what happens is when the compiler compiles it, by default it gives them values zero, one, two, three integral values. Okay, so this is what it this a particular block is saying that if you define nothing, this first will be initialized with zero, and then subsequently plus one is added. So here it is one. So here plus one here plus one similarly, but suppose you have given this not as one and left it. So what I'm saying is you define like this enum direction north is equals to one and then leave others south east west. So what will happen is you declare one here. So now the compiler won't initialize it by itself. If nothing is given, then it will initialize it. And here one is given. So what I have told is whatever value is there for the for the previous one, for the whatever value is there for the previous one, the uh, current one will have its value plus one. So here we have declared is with one. So what south will now have is two. What east will now have is three. What west will now have is four. Okay. So that is what here it is given. And uh, similarly, if you don't give anything to north, like if you don't give here anything to north, so what will happen is, suppose you have given value here, nothing, like nothing was given here. So, uh, and then you have given south is equals to one. So what will happen is this north, since no value is there and there is no previous other one, so north will be initialized with zero. South will be one. As you have given the value, then east will go and west will two. Suppose you have given north as one beforehand, and south also you have given one. So what east will have is east will have its value this plus one, the previous one plus one two. West will have its value three. It's not uh, necessary to define these in sequence only. You can give any value to any of them. It but but it's just that if any of this enum. Uh, values if any of these internal names uh, variables will have any of the uh, names not given it will uh, refer to its previous one and whatever value the previous one have will plus one it and add it to itself if the previous one also doesn't have it will contact the other previous one then other previous one this one so if you want we can also give it not as 69 south as 10 east as 1 west as 23 it will be fine, like the com uh, code will run fine. But it's just that these values should be integers, that's all. This is the only criteria, these things are should be integer. So, so uh, this is, uh, we have discussed this three ways. Now, let me clear this, clear these slides. So, we have discussed uh, three ways. We have discussed three ways to define a constant. So, one is by using the const keyword. The second is by using the hash defined directive, pre processed directive to be precise, hash defined, and third is using enum. So, what happens is, see, uh, I, I'll tell when to use a uh, when. So, as you will uh, gain more experience while doing this coding and programming, you will come to know when to use what. So, just give you a brief description, uh, brief idea of uh, concept C. What happens is if you declare a variable with const keyword okay so what it does it it stores a value in the memory a particular value and that uh, like uh, just uh, here important point is that it is allocated some memory but what happens with define is define is not allocated any memory okay why because memory is allocated only when the program starts running but here uh, this th that is the constant keyword has been compiled compiled by the compiler and object has been created then that is again used by the linker to create a file executable file and when that executable file run in the memory it is assigned some value the variable but here using the define keyword what happens is even before compilation all the variable or all the places where this defined value was there it is replaced by its value so even before compilation the program is not running itself so there is no memory and there is no uh, uh, 
particular of uh, memory given to the uh, this particular variable understood so this is what defined as for define the memory is not used for a constant memory is used what does enum means is so enum is used when a particular variable or a particular type of data can have uh, can have multi any of the va values from a particular subset of values like this direction can have either north or south or east or west so from this subset this direction can have any of these values okay so this is where we use enum okay now uh, we'll go through these codes and understand how actually uh, we use it okay so see first i'll go through this const keyword, okay see before that uh, i'll just uh, would like to mention you these values rc double slash these are called as uh, uh, what is comments this is how you put comments comments are generally uh, uh, like ignored by the compiler while compiling because these are just for the developers or the person who is uh, seeing the code to understand what actually is written okay so in anything you write here this particular thing will be ignored and there are two types of comments you can provide one is this using double slash which provides uh, comments on this single line single line and other is multi-line comment using this slash then star then star then slash so anything between these lines will be commented or, or this will not be considered by the compiler okay so this is called multi level multi line comment and this is called single line comment okay now we'll see this case one with constants okay so let me remove this here see as i have said if you define any of the constants without any initial value it will be assigned zero by the compiler okay value zero to the, the compiler so if you see we have used this const keyword then int then a now we'll print it value and let's see what happens okay. see the value of a is zero so we haven't defined any uh, any values so by default this value is assigned as zero okay so here we have seen this now for the second case if we uh, define a particular value to our constant variable what will happen is c 10 so we have defined a with 10 value and when printed value is a what will happen if you try to reassign its value as zero see what happens see an error has happened if you can see assignment of read only variable is a read only variables means is once it is declared you can't write it variables that is you can't change the value in the memory that this variable is assigned to. okay that is what is saying assignment of the read only variable and it is an error so this particular line will give an error we can't reassign our value to this variable okay so this thing happened this is what a constant are and how we can declare them now we'll see what are define how to use define so as i have said that you can declare define like this has defined this is the name of the uh, this is the name that we will be using in our program this is pi radius and this is the value that will be replaced in place of pi so if you see here this is defined this is our multi-line comment if we remove it here you see if we have written this float data type area and it is pi into radius into radius so what will happen is just when we hit on this build button so before compilation what will the uh, this will do is program will do is this particular pi will be replaced by 3.14 and radius will be replaced by 2 so what will become 3.14 into 2 into 2 and that value will then uh, be assigned to the area when the compiler will compile the program and run it okay so let's see see here this pi was replied by 3.14 then radius 2 into 2 so 4 into 3.14 12.56 okay so this is what we have got mm -hmm. and now we'll go for enum and how to use it so this is enum so as I have said, how we use enum is, see this enum direction, it is taking north, south, just, we will see this later, just a minute, north, south, east, west. So what will happen is, we have declared this enum that 
this is a uh, enum which says that this is this direction is our user data type that we have created and it will have this north south east west so if nothing is declared or nothing is uh, said then this north will have value 0 the south will have 1 east 1 and west 3 like consequently increasing with a value of 1 so uh, and one one other point to note here is as i have said this is a escape sequence here see slash n slash n slash t so you can predict what will be printed is you and uh, the person d is north so north will be printed first then we go to the next line then south will be printed then we'll go to the next line then east will be printed and there is a tab it means that we won't go to the next line just a tab or us four or five spaces whatever tab length is that will uh, that space that amount of space is uh, left and then west is printed okay so let's see see here north is printed zero because it was first and nothing was we have assigned it so compiler has assigned zero then south one are in the next line then east two plus one south plus one in the next line because here was an nn and then we have used slash t see here this tab length is left here and then west okay so this is it if we assign a value as suppose 19 here and run it you see now north was not assigned anything so it is 0 south is 19 east is 20 because east has not been assigned anything so it will uh, contact this previous one which has 19 then again with plus 1 then 20 then here plus 1 21 so this is how it is working okay now this is how we declared our enum how we are going to use it is like this we will say that enum direction like this direction which this direction which is a user defined data type we want to use this data type for this variable name like which direction to go variable has this particular data type enum direction so what direction the direction is the name of the user data type that we have created and enum is just saying the compiler that this is a user data type so which way to go west so what value where west will have see here south has 19 so east has 20 and west have 21 so which direction will go will have 21 stored in it since i have told you that only numerical values are assigned so west will have uh, 21 and it will be assigned to which direction to go let's see see this is for north this is for south this is for east this is for west and then slash t tab which direction to go is 21 okay so this is how we declare variables and all these things so i hope uh, you have liked this video uh, if you like this video please like it share it subscribe it share it to your friends so that they also learn about or don't have this fear of this programming and learn these things okay thank you